China is about to be the world's superpower. China holds these meetings every five years to plan out their future. And it has been discovered that they have been stockpiling gold with Russia for a while now. China is now the largest producer of gold who exported zero gold in the recent years and is also the world's biggest importer of gold in the world. Safe to say, they have a lot of gold. Now, there are speculations from high profile finance analysts that China and Russia are going to create a new reserve currency that will directly challenge the US dollar. This new currency is likely to be backed by gold and also be a central bank digital currency which can surveil and monitor the way the money moves around the country and this CBDC is likely to be backed by blockchain technology. And should this be achieved according to China and Russia's plan, the US dollar is likely to be dethroned and it will be cataclysmically detrimental to the US economy. In the recent meeting, the president of China, Xi Dada, announced that China has now achieved full control over Hong Kong and that Taiwan is next. Now with US being an ally to Taiwan, this was very much a direct attack to the US. And to make matters worse, the Biden administration has forced the American workers in China to either quit their jobs and come home or lose their US citizenship. And as of this week, every American executive and engineer working in China's semiconductor manufacturing industry has resigned, which has paralyzed Chinese semiconductor manufacturing industry. Now, semiconductors are in most things which service transportation, telecommunication, military, medicine, and food production. And with Taiwan being the biggest manufacturer of semiconductors of not only China, but the entire world, world, the motion from Biden administration can not only cause damage to the Chinese functionality and economy, it may be damaging globally. What will China do next? Did USA make the right move or is it better that Taiwan remains as part of China?